uh, most important thing is that it has very strong technical support team behind. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Ong Yin Ho. I'm a professional engineer in uh, uh, Malaysia. Uh, our company is uh, Dr. To Associates, uh, a, jo uh, a consultant uh, based in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we specialize in uh, geotechnical works. We do uh, 3D analysis for our clients. Um, and we can see that the demands of uh, client asking us to do the 3D analysis increase year by year. In my opinion, 3D analysis is necessary, especially the interactions problems and some problems that can be solved cannot be solved by 2D analysis. For instance, pile problems or interaction problems from one structure to the other structures, then you need to do a, a three-dimensional um, analysis. The time to do the analysis is enormous, especially the, uh, the time to build the uh, 3D model. So we only do the uh, three-dimensional analysis when it's really needed. And uh, before we do the 3D analysis, we also do the uh, 2D analysis before 3D analysis. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, Myra GDS helped us a lot in uh, 3D analysis. Uh, we start using the Myra GDS NX back in 2010, and since then we keep testing the programs. And our conclusion is that uh, Myra GDS NX is reliable. And we need to use Myra GDS NX because it has a powerful engine. It has a powerful pre-processor and post-processor and it helps us a lot in uh, 3D numerical modeling. Another important thing about uh, Myra GDS is it handles very well in uh, couple analysis. Couple analysis means the coupling effect between the air, the soil and the water. So this part, Myra GDS NX is doing very well. We use GDS NX uh, for our, our designing the power foundations, uh, basement excavations problems, especially those cannot be modeled by two-dimensional programs, like uh, power problems, basement wall with buttresses, and uh, all kind of geotechnical works like uh, ground improvements, slopes, rock slopes. We even use it for rock slope stability analysis. I, def I definitely recommend uh, Midas GTS NX uh, for uh, geotechnical analysis and design. The reason being is that uh, the software has a very fast engine, very user-friendly uh, interface. Uh, both pre and post uh, processor are very fast. And uh, most important thing is that it has very strong technical support team behind that uh, help you to solve a problem uh, when you need it. All right, thank you for interviewing me. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hafiz. I'm an associate prof uh, in NT University. I have uh, some <coughs> long experience with other university like UNITEN, UITM, UM and uh, mainly my uh, speciality in geotech, uh, ground improvement, dam engineering, and this is where I use MIDAS. We have to go for 3D. For why? Because uh, nowadays, if you have too many elements interact together, all right, uh, I don't think 2D will be sufficient enough to give you more realistic uh, results. Of course, you can do it 2D, all right? But if you compare to the result from 3D, it is more to uh, reality. So I have used 2D and compared with 3D, and I found 3D is more reliable than 2D. Uh, mainly on my main type of research, dam stability and uh, ground improvement. And as I have mentioned just now uh, during my talk, uh, I was talking about the interface between the concrete dam 
and the rock. Uh, unfortunately, most of the software in the market, uh, it is very difficult to really simulate the type or the property of that new material, which come due to the uh, melting the concrete to the rock and the rock into concrete. So you cannot consider it 100% rock or 100% concrete. That's the interface, especially after long service, around 10, 20 years of service. And this huge load in the dam, you find out the interface totally become a new homogeneous material. And that one is not really uh, available in comparable software. So uh, I, I, I give me this uh, uh, eight out of 10 on that particular part in, 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 in interface study, while other software, they don't really uh, understand that point. They treat each material by itself, and that is not that right, all right? So I, I think Midas on that part, it's considered eight out of 10. I have recommended already for the last four years to many of my uh, postgraduate students who are now are teaching in many universities to buy it, uh, all of them has agree on one thing. It is good software. It can easily be used or apply to all uh, geotechnical problems. Um, hi, my name is Mashita. Uh, I'm now currently working with HNT, HNT Consult. We are experienced in uh, underground also um, for the underground MRT tunnels. So that's the very um, massive design and also collaborate with the bridge, co collaborate with the uh, approach for the structure, elevated structure. So that, that is mostly soil structure interaction with uh, soil structure interaction. Uh, that's a critical area. Lah. So MRT, LRT, mostly in uh, infrastructure works. Sometimes on the buildings for the future building, collaborate with the um, MRT also. This software is, I think, well known at 2018. Already know that this software. And then 2019, I also uh, attend uh, some trainings. Uh, they, they, are, they present on the seminar for the comparison with other software. So have a few consultants uh, using this, already using this software. I'm planning to carry out analysis for the slope stability embankment uh, involve retaining structure, retaining soils for the infrastructure work. This software is very friendly. Okay, the output result is easy to to see from the from the model. That means click the model so you can see the output bending moment shift for the axial no need to open the other file to see the result since we are using uh, MIDAS structure so we want to explore more about geotech also so that means easy for us to collaborate with the structure for the bridge for the underground for the soil structure interaction okay. it is subject to the design analysis I will recommend if the, the analysis is complicated, yeah, my test, I think, very useful to, very, very useful, that means, can give a comprehensive result for the complex analysis.